Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Karis. I normally do not make videos like the one you're about to watch. However, I found something that I just absolutely love and I have to share with you all. So today I am going to talk about the best phone plans for broke college students or just anybody in general that does not want to spend a fortune on their phone bills. So if you want to know more, keep on watching. Alright, so recently I had to start paying for my own phone bills and I was researching different phone carriers and I noticed like it's pretty expensive if you want to have a decent amount of data and unlimited talk and text and all of that. So I did a lot more research and I came across this new, um, I don't know if it's new, it's, it was my first time hearing about it, but um, a plan called Mint Mobile. So I actually came across it here on YouTube. I was just watching YouTube videos and it came up as an ad and they were doing this promotional offer at that time. I don't know if it's still on right now, but where you um, buy three months, get three months free. And I was like, okay, that's pretty sick. <laughs> so then I went to their website and um, just really felt like it was great for what I needed. So yeah. I've been with them for like a month now and I I wanted to share with you why I believe they are the best phone plans for broke college students. So really quickly, I want to talk to you all about just like the plans and all of that I'll go through and I have my phone right here. Um, I have their website pulled up, which by the way, I will go ahead and link the, um, the website down below. So you can get like as low as three gigabytes a month or you can also get unlimited so if you get three gigabytes a month it's 15 dollars a month it's unlimited talk and text nationwide coverage it's the coverage is pretty good i haven't had too much problems with it um you can get eight gigabytes for twenty dollars a month um or this is the one I have and it is the 12 gigabytes a month for $25 a month. I have Wi-Fi so I don't use a lot so it works out fine. And then you can get unlimited for $30 a month. Um, and so, I mean, that's really good pricing because if you go to like um, Amazon or not Amazon, um, Verizon or AT&T, um, a lot more expensive so i actually here let me pull up verizon if you want to do verizon for just one line if you want five gigabytes it's 35 dollars a month for five gigabytes and if you want 12 gigabytes it's 45 dollars a month that that's a lot like i'm getting right now i'm getting 12 gigabytes a month for 25 dollars so and if you want the unlimited it's 65 dollars a month so, okay, so let's try AT&T. So, at AT&T, you can get 5 gigabytes a month for $30 a month, which is paying more than you would at Mitbobble for 12 gigabytes. Um, or you can get 15 gigabytes a month for $40, or you can get unlimited for $50. So, yeah, um, after looking at that, I was like, okay, <laughs> I think it's pretty clear that I need to go with Mitbobble. Um, and it was, it was a pretty easy process. I went onto their website, you can click in your area code, your address to see what the coverage around you is like, um, and like my area, it's like, it's fine, I have, I have decent signal, um, and also you can like choose, you know, five, if you want three, five, eight, twelve, or unlimited, and it, it just it makes it very easy. You can have it to where it's just for one line or you can get the family plan if you want. Um, and so whenever you order the service, um, you get like a SIM card. Hold on, actually I might have, might have one of them. So this is kind of what it looks like whenever I ordered my plan. It came, this was just like a seven day free trial card that came with it. But yeah, it comes with like, uh, a card like this and on the card there's an activation code and you just activate your phone and then there's also these um, chips that it comes with and the chip you can um, there's like three different layers 
depending on how big the I say chip I mean sim card <laughs> comes with a sim card that has like three different layers so my phone is iPhone 7 plus and like the sim card fit perfectly fine so super easy you can keep your phone number you don't have to get a new phone number I ended up getting a phone new phone number which is kind of a long story um, I had a hard time getting the account information I needed to get from my other phone plan it was just it was just too much of a hassle so I decided to just get a whole new phone number but if you don't want a new phone number you can transfer your number over it's super simple their app oh my gosh it's so nice super easy to work with I'll kind of run you guys through it very easy to work with so you can just download their app um, and log in with your information and right when you do it actually pulls up like how much gigabytes you have left um, I should probably enable auto renewal which means it'll just like take the payments off whenever I need to pay them but yeah I have the 12 um, gigabytes a month for three months and then I get three months off for free so yeah just super easy super simple their customer service is great I've had to call them a few times and I know like when I had to call Verizon and stuff it just took forever um, but they answer pretty easily and <laughs> this is super off top well not really off topic another thing I love about them is just like they have a really awesome like marketing strategy so like if you guys just read through their um, website they're just i can tell the people who work for them are just like super funny <laughs> like just the way they they write things like it makes sense i'm not very i don't know much about phone plans and stuff like that but they make it very simple and you can tell they're not like trying to get you to spend a whole bunch of money it's very simple there's not much there's few options you pick whatever you need and you go with it like i just yeah i really like it's just clear nice instructions so yeah i i really like it if you guys are in looking for a good phone plan um that isn't going to cost you an arm and a leg i would definitely check out mint mobile so that being said i actually have a referral code which is another cool thing so if you go through mint mobile and you refer a friend you get like some money added to your credit and so that like next time you pay your phone bill like it will be you won't have to pay as much because like every I don't know if, if you refer like a friend it's like I don't know you get $15 or something I'm not really sure but I would love it if you do choose to go with Mint Mobile if you would like to use my referral code that'd be awesome it doesn't cost you anymore you're just helping me but you don't have to if you don't want to but the referral code will be right in the description down below like the first link you'll see will be the referral code so yeah i really i really like it i think i'm going to go ahead and do like a whole separate video about like some of the cons of being with mint mobile which there's not very many but i'm going to do a pros and cons with of being with mint mobile and my experience with it within the past month and a half of having it but um i 10 out of 10 would recommend it so yeah don't forget to use my referral code if you're interested and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and until next time, bye!